Hello and welcome to another trip report. This time from Hamm, Westphalia in Germany. And well, since we live in 2020 and you're not able to travel that far away from home, I just stay in, a, in and around my home country. Um, and I'm just wondering, what is your favorite line in Germany and what line do you maybe like to make me a trip report about? Just let me know in the comments below. Um, anyway, today I'll be taking a local train from Hamm in Westphalia to Venlo in the Netherlands. When you take this train as an international connection, you probably won't take it all the way to Hamm or from Hamm. Um, for international travelers, it's pretty interesting to take this train between Wuppertal and Dusseldorf and Venlo, especially Dusseldorf and Venlo. This is a really popular section of the route. In this video, I'll be featuring very briefly this railway station. Um, after that, I will show you the train and some views from the train. And I will also show you the railway station of Wuppertal in this video. And in this video, I will also take you on a ride with the Wuppertaler Schwebebahn, so the monorail of Wuppertal. I already have a video where I'll be featuring Dusseldorf main station. And well, between Wuppertal and Venlo, I also show you some views from the train. And at the end of this video, I'll be showing you very briefly Venlo railway station. What isn't a big railway station at all, by the way. Anyway, I hope you like this video. When you do so, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And like I always say, when you like to see more train related videos, subscribe to my channel. For now, let's roll the intro. Before I show you the video, I'll show a picture of the European railway map covering this area. My train will go from Hamm in Germany to Venlo, just across the border in the Netherlands. During this route, this train will call at, well, for example, Wuppertal and Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf is a very important railway junction, and especially when you're traveling from or to the Netherlands, you find a lot of trains between Dusseldorf and the Netherlands, approximately 56 on a daily basis. And this line, the RE13, what is also being called the Maas Wuppe Express, is one of them. Because I already have a video where I'll be featuring the railway station of Dusseldorf. I'll be featuring in this specific video, very briefly, the railway station of Ham, Wuppertal, and at the end of the video, Venlo. In the description of this video on YouTube, you can find the video where I'll be featuring Dusseldorf main station. For now, let's start with the video. This is the railway station of Hamm, Westphalia in, well, the state of Westphalia in Germany. Actually, I really like this building. It's not a real railway junction, but it is having long distance trains. In front of the railway station, you find a bus stop and around the railway station, you find quite a lot of bikes. I also saw this bike sharing program. Between the bikes and the bus stop, you will find a taxi stand and pretty close from here, you also find a pick up and drop off zone for railway passengers by car. You'll find screens outside of the railway station with basic route information, but within the railway station, you'll find bigger screens that will host more detailed route information about departing trains from here. This railway station is marked as a category two railway station, what means it's the second highest ranked railway station you can find in Germany. Within the main hall, you'll find a Reisezentrum, what stands for travel center, some lockers, and some shops. There are not a lot of shops over here. When you leave the station, so here on the left, you'll find information about departing buses from here. This isn't a very big station, despite the fact that it is not very big. Everything is very well indicated. And this tunnel will take you right to the railway tracks. For long distance trains, you'll find a train composition at the platform. But since I'm not traveling with a long distance train, but a local express train, this is not necessary for my train. You can't make reservations. And this is my train for this route. And this is the same train in Venlo. Of course, on the numbers one and two next to the doors on the outside of the train, you can recognize where the first and the second class is. But on the side of the train, you find an extra thin yellow line. And this yellow line will indicate exactly where you can find the first class. First class isn't that much more special than second class on these trains, but well, I start off by showing you the first class. First class will give you slightly more leg room and something you find here and won't find in the second class is power plugs. You'll find a total of 32 chairs in first class, 16 at the front and 16 at the back of these train sets. Pretty often these trains do run combined. The second class looks like this. Just like first class, this comes in a 2x2 configuration. 
At several spots at the side of the train, you will find the route map of these lines. Oh, the RE13 and the RE3. It feels like about half of the chairs do come in an airplane composition and half of the chairs do come in a composition like this. When you find them in this composition, you find a table and a small garbage can at the side. This is how the toilets look like in these train sets. Per train set, you find one toilet. And near the toilet and well, the entrance doors in general, you find quite a lot of space where you can park bikes and near the toilets also wheelchairs. You will find a map of the local transport of North Rhine-Westphalia at the toilet door. As you can see here, there's quite a lot of space to store bicycles near the entrance doors of these trains. Route information will be displayed at the screens near the doors. Basic route information will be shown at LED screens at the ceiling. Of course, you find a lot of storage for luggage in the luggage racks, and next to the luggage racks you find coating. This is the seating pit in the regular second class chairs, and you have quite a lot of leg room. Because this is an older train, you won't find power plugs in the second class, and there's no way. In Germany, you can travel really affordable with local transport with local tickets. So, for example, the VRR ticket, or tickets that are valid for only the state, so in this case, Westphalia. These tickets are also valid on the trains to Venlo. And in this case, the same rule applies for the local train that runs between Dusseldorf and Arnhem. The best thing is to do when you buy tickets for the German section and you're traveling with local trains, buy the tickets from the point where you can buy these local tickets and you can buy them the best via the German railway app what is called DB. I still want to continue with these train travel reviewed videos where I will explain you more about train fares. So I will probably make a video on this because this is a trip report and not how to book tickets report. For the next approximately 30 seconds, I'll show you some views from the train between Ham and Wuppertal. Right after that, I will show you the Wuppertal main station and also the Schwebebahn, the famous monorail of Wuppertal. I found a quiet place to, well, talk into the camera. It still feels a bit strange though to talk in the camera when people are around. They look at you like, oh, are you crazy? Well, and then I guess I am in a way. Anyway, um, this railway station has been refurbished. I think the last time I was here was about three years ago. And back then this wasn't a nice place. This was one big construction site. Um, it didn't look well and, and they did a really good job on this. I will show you this in the video and from here on I will take the uh, monorail to Wuppertal Vorwinkel from where on I will continue my way by train to Venlo in the Netherlands. Well, let's watch the station in Wuppertal Hauptbahnhof. Just like Ham Westphalia, Wuppertal Hauptbahnhof is also marked as a category 2 railway station. So the second highest ranked railway station in Germany. The refurbishment of Wuppertal Hauptbahnhof has been done very well. The railway station hall looks really nice, light and well, bright. You find some lockers over here. Vending machines can be found over here, but also in several other spots in this railway station. And this is actually the first time that I'm seeing a piano in a railway station in Germany. I saw pianos in other railway stations in France, the Netherlands, the UK and also in the Czech Republic. But this is the first time that I'm seeing it in Germany. There are a lot of shops over here. And you also find a Reisezentrum where you can buy train tickets. Personally, I prefer to book my tickets online. In general, especially for long distance trains, the earlier you book, the cheaper it is. Within this railway station, you also find a big parking grass. At the first upper level, well, you won't find that many shops, but you find some shops. And over here you can go to the bus platforms. The bus platforms are located right above the parking grass. 
This is really nice integrated. I really like it. These buses do mainly serve the outskirts and the smaller towns around Wuppertal. Within the station hall you will find some paper timetables as well. And of course you will find digital timetables. Yep. Directions are clearly given. You find a tunnel that will guide you to the railway tracks. Actually it didn't felt like this part of the railway station has been refurbished. Maybe they will refurbish this later on. The tracks are not that special. You find some tracks and of course you find this place that will host route information. Above the railway tracks you will find a bridge and this bridge will take you to the other part of Wuppertal. As you can see Wuppertal is a hilly city. Personally I like the front of the railway station of the old building the most. This pretty points to the city center. And over here you can see where I'm heading to right now. This is the Wuppertale Swebebahn, so the monorail of Wuppertal. The monorail might look very futuristic and modern, but it's not. This monorail has been introduced since 1901. The current train sets date back from 2018. These trains will follow for the biggest part the river Wupper, and at the most western part of this section they will go above the streets in the area of Vollwinkel. I really like the view from the back of these trains by the way. The current monorail trains are really nice and modern. They do host very good route information and you find plenty of comfortable seats in these trains. The local transportation tickets I mentioned in the beginning of this video can also be used for these monorails. This is just a very nice and fun way of getting around. I really like these monorails. For now it's time to go to Wuppertal Vollwinkel and from there I'll take the train to Venlo. For the next approximately one minute I'll show you some views from the train between Wuppertal Vollwinkel and Venlo and after that I will show you the railway station of Venlo in the Netherlands. The railway station of Venlo in the Netherlands is not big when it comes to the number of passenger railway tracks, but as you can see here at the back, you will find a lot of tracks for especially cargo trains. By the way, when you're wondering why it's suddenly light and it was dark when I arrived here, I didn't record this all at the same day. In front of the railway station in Venlo, you find a pickup and drop off zone for passengers by car, and you also find a local bus station over here. I only saw buses that will stay within the Netherlands, although Venlo is located right at the border. Just behind the bus station you'll find a parking spot and well, the city center is within walking distance from this railway station. You'll find quite a lot of space where you can park bikes. You can enter the basement over here as well where you just saw the stairs and when you do this you will find the parking grass that will come out directly in the main station hall. Well, let's enter the main station hall and see what we can find there. You'll find some shops, vending machines for the Dutch state-owned railway company NS and Arriva, and a ticket and service desk. You'll find separate vending machines for local transport in Germany. Here you can also buy, for example, the regional tickets I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Although, I just prefer e-tickets. You'll find some screens that will host information about departing trains. It's not a big station, so you won't find a lot. You also find these screens that will host travel information. Well, time to go to the platform. You'll find some facilities at track number one, like for example some lockers, 
and of course some vending machines which you also find in the main hall and the toilet can be found over here as well. The local train RE13 that I took for this video also departs and arrives at this track. At the spot of platform 1 where you won't find the platform roof you will find this local train. The power cables in this part of the railway station can host both the German and the Dutch electricity for trains. You'll find long distance trains at platform number 3 that will go to the west of the country. For local transport you will find trains of Arriva that will go to for example Nijmegen but also to the south of Limburg. Of course you'll find stairs to the platforms but you also find elevators. This might be a bit easier for when you're traveling with a bike for example. So hello from Venmo railway station. As you maybe already noticed, I didn't record this video all in one single go because it was dark when I showed you the views from the train and it's suddenly light when I'm here at the railway station. Anyway, I really hope you like this video. When you do so, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And well, like I always say, when you'd like to see more trip reports or train related videos, subscribe to my channel. See you on my next video.